All right, y'all, we finally got the long-awaited Team Associated Rival MT-8. Man, with how much I loved the MT-10, I was very excited to get this rig. And she's pretty good ripper, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I put on Arma 4S backflips on it. Uh, I've got some E-Revo uh, plus 5 millimeter hex spacers on it to widen the wheelbase. Uh, they don't fit that well, and you got to modify them pretty heavily. I don't recommend anybody trying it. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, I'll find something else that I can modify uh, that will be a lot stronger, more robust than this. This is temporary. Just so I could run these uh, backflips. I did not like the stock tires. The stock tires balloon way too much for my liking. Uh, and they have the tread pattern that, in my opinion, is more for the street, not for off-road, which is the way I like to drive. Um, I do. I am going to keep them. I probably will, will run them if I try to run this on uh, pavement, tarmac, or a skate park or something. But when it comes to off-road, these are my favorite tires, hands down. These are they're my favorite. Um, now, as far as electronics are concerned, we've got a few changes. That stock 2100 KV motor that's in this, uh, I'm not a fan of. It didn't have the torque I was looking for. And uh, it seemed to clog a lot when it got hot. And it got hot really, I mean really fast. I couldn't get halfway through a battery pack on on 4S without it overheating for some reason. And I went through all the differentials, made sure all the bearings were good, uh, everything was fine. It, it just, for some reason, that motor, in my opinion, gets way too hot, way too fast, in my opinion. So what I did is I put a Spectra Firma uh, 6S motor out of an, uh, an old Creighton, 2050 KV. I have NA, NHX Nitro Hobby Extreme twin 30 millimeter fans and then I put a 13 tooth pinion on it. Uh, keep in mind if you go anything bigger than a 12 tooth, the stock cover will not fit anymore. Unfortunately, I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, also stock ESC, but I changed out to a Rocket Surpass Hobby uh, 28,000 or uh, I changed out to a Rocket Surpass 35 millimeter fan uh, for higher RPM, better cooling capability, so on and so forth. Uh, my plan for this truck is to only run it on 4S. I don't think 6S is really a good option for this truck. I think it's really overpowered for this truck. I ran it on 6S once, maybe twice, and I'm just... it. For the short of wheelbase it has, it's got way too much instantaneous torque, it's just way too much. Uh, so I decided to try and gear it down with the Spectrum, uh, Spectrum motor on 4S, 12 tooth, or excuse me, 13 tooth, and then a uh, Huvo 4S battery, 120C. This is gonna be its maiden voyage in this current setup. I've got the radio link RC4GS hooked up to it. Uh, the stock transmitter, it's got that delay everybody complains about. And I noticed that it doesn't have much range. I, I could barely get it out 50 yards before it would start glitching on me. And I was not a fan of it. So I got a new receiver uh, for my radio link and got it bound up. And it, it, it drives so great. Now for 4S, this thing, this rig, in my opinion, runs really great. Uh, for programming, I got the ESC turned all the way up, punch nine, just crank it, crank it, crank it. All the power, baby. All right, let me get the lid on, battery hooked up, and get this thing cranking and see how y'all like it. All righty. We got the Team Associated, MT8. My little setup, customized the way I like it. Spectrum 2050 KV motor on 4S. See how it goes.
Yeah, I'm not going to try to do that. I don't want to damage the diffs. I just got the car. I want to be somewhat nice to it. I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, you know, uh, shout out to Kevin Talbot. Footage. big rock over there I think there's a big rock I did not see up oh, there's another one all right guys now that I went through and got most of the big rocks besides that one right there I'm not going to try to lift that one I'm not in the shape to do that uh oh I missed one And I'm getting these rocks because I haven't done the kaiju arm yet on this yet. I'm still waiting for those to come. They uh, should be here by the end of the week. But still, you know, I don't want to mash it into those things and just crash it. Like This is legitimately the fourth time with the, uh, with the car. Uh, so I'm trying to take it easy and trying to learn the car. Uh, and, you know, have fun. That's what it's about, right? Let's see, this thing don't need to be on 6S. And with it being on 4S, with this gearing, this, this motor, I, I can still do wheelies. All you got to do is dig into the throttle. Anything more than half throttle, the front end will come up. Ah. I think I see why people are uh, getting that sway bar kit for it. I think that might be one of my next purchases. making some noise. Let's see what it is. Oh -ho! Hold on boys, let me change the camera real quick. Oh. That's what that noise I was hearing was. Let me get this to the car real quick. Change it out. That motor is not even a hundred degrees. Yeah, uh, that thing's barely warm to the touch. Sorry, Rudy. Uh, 
That 2100 motor is kind of like that Hobby Wing 2200 KV motor, the 4274. They consume a lot of power, they spin really fast, but they don't have the torque. And they get hot fast. So, let me go fix this pinion. And uh, we'll get back at it. But I might even throw a